Hey guys, Live Letter 70 is still airing, but I want to take a moment to actually fulfill something that has been requested, which is to get the job balance adjustment changes independent on their own from the rest of the Live Letter coverage that I'm going to have released in maybe an hour or so. So here are the job balance adjustments. So for the job adjustments, final numbers will not be given until the patch drops, but first up is going to be the machinist who specifically got potency of multiple actions, which includes heat blast, wildfire, and drill being increased, all of which are very commonly used in the rotation, especially during big burst moments, which will mean that there's going to be huge synergy between the machinist kit and two minute cooldowns. Although if I'm being super honest, that is kind of in line with most jobs at this point. I was trying to align everything into that raid buff window. There is no other like rework to the machinist, so this is mostly just looking at raw potency. And so I, for one, as someone who really likes the machinist, is hoping that they really went far with this. Samurai is getting a lot more consistency now going into 6.1, and it is going to be getting guaranteed critical hits from Midara Setsugaka and Keishi Setsugaka, Ogi Namakiri and Keishi Namakiri to balance out their damage output so that you don't have the massive swings between if you get a crit or not. And so his Saitsukaitin is also being removed in order to reduce the button bloat. Ninja is actually getting a wild change that I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see coming. Trick Attack will now boost only the ninja themselves damage output, but now their ability Mug will apply a debuff to increase the damage taken by a target. So turning their 60 second alignment to now a big 2 minute cooldown, similar to things like Battle Litany or Chain Stratagem going forward. Dark Knight is getting a change during Living Dead will now be able to restore health by a large amount when landing attacks. I as a healer am thrilled to say that this is going to actually hopefully help relieve a lot of pressure on me but as me co-healing with my boyfriend on white mage even with the benediction it is going to be nice to be able to like use benediction kind of um anywhere else having that as an option to use somewhere else is actually really nice for the dragoon we are looking at a quality of life change for the animation lock from the jump being shortened it's making things a little bit snappier summoner is also getting another quality of life change where their 30 second raid wipe buff searing light is no longer going to be dependent on specifically having carbuncle out so now you can use it say during bahamut this is actually going to really be nice because few things suck and i speak from personal experience as literally just summoning bahamut and then being like wait I didn't cast Searing Light. I mean, yeah, it's something that you can learn to do, but it's one of those things where it's like, darn it, I think of it. White Mage is now having some significant buffs here. Um, first off, I should say all of the healers are getting their MP values adjusted, and so this is going to definitely probably impact the White Mage more significantly than... Um, what I could say here, obviously final numbers are going to come with the patch notes, but they did say that they are looking at the healer's MP economy, and that's a huge pain point for the White Mage right now. Now, other buffs that they did have on the slide was White Mage has Cure 3 and their Asylum range massively extended. Cure 3 is currently at 6 yard, and then we are looking at a 10 yard radius now. While 4 might technically not sound that much, it is in practice going to be double, and 10 yards range is so much better. Now, White Mage's Cure 3 is definitely going to see a lot more usage um although the mp changes because it is 1.5 thousand we're gonna need to see the final results of how badly that hurts our mp but i am optimistic about it we aren't done with white mage as lily bell now has a huge quality of life change where they can now end the lily bell effect early for a massive spike of area of effect healing which is going to be super nice to say the least because lily bell's current vibes which again might be adjusted for 6.1 even when you're not utilizing them it's like 400 potency when you use it or 200 not um, right now, it's going to be 1,000 potency of healing just from those baseline stacks if they aren't being like triggered when the Lily Bells hit. That is going to actually be quite a substantial heal. 1,000 healing in an area of effect is very, very large to say the least. And so in my mind, this can make Lily Bells usage kind of similar to Macro Cosmos in many instances because 1,000 burst is pretty huge. I'm imagining it right now for Life's Agonies during P3S. That is going to be quite a nice and appreciated first to say the least. The amplification with Temperance, get the amplification with Asylum, which again is multiplicative. Uh, pop this. Um, P3S's Life's Agonies is now very easily solvable by White Mage 2, in my opinion. Now, on less optimistic note, and one that is whacking me personally directly, is Scholar is getting a significant nerf here. They are getting Sacred Soil Radius Extend to 10 Yams, and so that is a decent increase, I appreciate that. Although, we are looking at Expedient having its duration cut from 20 seconds down to 10. 
And while I don't think that this is the end of the world, I think that a scholar is going to need to be much, much tighter to say the least on their timings because 10 seconds is absolutely enough for you to definitely get in a lot of the mechanics or the, how to say it, the mass majority of mechanics will be covered by that. Obviously not ultimate mechanics, but I think even during those, you will see a 10 second uh, speed boost definitely help them out. Even in current Savage fights, I'm not seeing myself excessively use full 20 second duration on this right now so I it really depends on what we see in ultimate if this is going to be devastating or not but I really don't think that the average casual player is going to feel too too much on this. Anyhow that really does it for this job adjustments video I know that it is short it is brief it is not edited that much um but I want to get this out from some people's requests and so here you go.